because I mean we have not to m mess around with with the arrays with the pluses and minuses for sure so I'll be measuring all the voltages we'll try to do this live so let's see how it goes okay guys assembled it all and uh, let me explain you quickly and do the measurements so first of all uh, this is all assembled, right? So it gets into here, then it's into here, and then goes out plus somewhere and minus directly to the inverter. I mean, that's one of these cables right now. Same for the second array. But here, the most interesting part is here. So uh, on the worms, you apply the plus and plus, and from the plus, you take both pluses. And so let's figure out how exactly will it take out the uh, the array. So I know from earlier that uh, I mean with these blue uh, tape, it's one it's array number one, and without one, it's array number two. So let's do the measurements right now. Uh, that's the array number two. So for example, uh, for sure we will have some voltage here once I measure the this array, and let's find it. Let's find it on this place. So. This will be the most convenient. You see, six six hundred seventy three volts, and guess what? This one will be showing. I will say zero because you'll see how the voltage drops, right? And if I switch to the bottom one, we have the voltage. So now let me change the array. Let me change the array to this one. Oh come on, yes. We are here, and let's do the same measurement. So first of all, with the normal array, so yeah, 600 volt. I mean, that's the 10% difference.